Well, the Creative Coalition was formed to keep the National Endowment for the Arts funded. Mm -hmm. Okay, very important. Um, these past couple of years, we've been just trying to keep it from getting slashed anymore. What we would like is for it to be at like the 2008 level. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. Although we did get a little increase this past year. All right, that's great. But now it looks like it might get cut entirely. Yeah. And that is a shame. That is a shame. When you look at how much money it takes to fund the NEA for a year, but then you look at how it gets spread across the entire country. It's really not that much. And you're talking after school programs for people, uh, major cultural things that, listen, the arts bring money into communities. So every dollar that you spend on the arts, bringing the arts somewhere, the arts will yield $7 to the yeah. community, just in ancillary businesses, dry cleaners, gas stations, coffee shops. Like, it, it's worth it. So, uh, I don't want to be too long-winded about it, but right now, yes, we are struggling, and we are trying to keep it from, from getting slashed further or from going away entirely. And how we can do that is, A, okay, support the arts. Well, what does that mean? Buy tickets to things. The smallest theaters, the littlest art exhibits. Look what's going on in your community and see if you can at least just be an audience member or an Instagram it, okay? Hashtag it. When you go and see these things, send out on social media uh, just a short message about how, mu how much fun you had or whatever. If you can volunteer, if you are so inclined and you can volunteer with some of these groups, please do it because we need art now more than ever. Right now is a time when we can make some really incredible things. And I'm sorry, but I, I want the American arts to be the best in the world, and there's no reason that we can't have that. Totally. All right, we've got brilliant people here. The just the very nature of our melting pot society means we could have the best of everything if we all participate. And I don't mean to sound like, you know, I'm delivering a sermon, but I'm delivering a sermon. Well, I, yeah, you I need think... to support the arts because even if you aren't artistic, being exposed to it unlocks so many other things in your mind and. Kids need it. So, for some people, that is their lifeline. When I was in school, I was such a nerdy mess that if I didn't have my arts programs at school, I would have killed myself, okay? But I had that to look forward to.